Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Nina Schofield and this is going to be a little bit of a strange video. I'm going to be reacting to my own song, which I never thought I'd do, but I've had some requests to do this, so why not? Let's give it a go. So if you didn't know, I just released a single called Thriving. Uh, it's self-written, produced by a fantastic producer called James Burt, who I collaborate with quite a lot. And he's done stuff for all sorts of people and also happens to be one of my good friends. So we have a great creative communication. And so Thriving is what has come out of that. And I'm gonna talk you through how I wrote the song, what it's about, what's going on in the music and what's happening with my vocal. And for anyone that wants to have a listen to this song without listening to me babble at the same time, I will leave links to download and stream it and links to the lyric video and the vertical video in the description box below. Okay, let's get cracking. She's no poison, no one leaves alive. No, no. Even that first bit, we heavily process that vocal, so it's kind of auto tune -y sounding on purpose. Um, a bit robotic, I guess, is what we were going for. And a sort of sparse instrumental section um, so that it left room to build the song. That was your misguided alibi. And those little muted vocals. And that one. Got the clicks in because I love, and if you watch any of my videos, you'll know that I love clicks in pop music. I love it. I think it's such a great added percussive sort of element in a song. Lyrically, this song so far, so we've got choose your poison, no one leaves alive. The other person in this relationship is saying there's no way out of us breaking apart without both of us getting hurt. Um, but then I say, that was your misguided alibi. That was your get out clause to try and keep me hooked in. But you're alone. Still young, but I'm wise enough to question. I've got the, are you in love with aggression? Oh. And then the big drop down. So uh, those pre-choruses are basically saying, I'm still young, but I got a, I got a brain, I know what's happening here, and I'm not going to be led down the garden path with someone who thinks they know best for me when they don't. I know best for me, and I know how I'm feeling and what's good for me and my body and my mental health. This is the swishy swirly section. And you can hear... You can hear how the percussive elements and the drums really build in that section. So Bertie did an amazing, sorry, I call James Bertie, James Bert, Bertie, just for future reference. Um, you can hear how Bertie has built up that drum section. He's a drummer himself, he's so good. And so he's built this incredible drum section that isn't overcomplicated, but also has intricacies, which I really like. And I wanted that pre-chorus section to sort of drop out and have this big open space so that when we got to the chorus it was this more sort of dry drop and more boppy. And a celebration! And there's this... And this... So initially, actually in that little bit, the I, 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 I wanted to re-record, I had this idea that I wanted it to do that, and I wanted to re-record the I, so it was really ah, 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 but Bertie took the I from the thriving, the thri, from that, and actually now I prefer that, I'm glad that we didn't re-record it and make it more straight, um, and there's this big back into the second verse. Take the blame. And more dry sounds again. Harmonies. You're insane. So that 
is one of my highest vocals I think that I've ever recorded in a song. I am known amongst my friends and my musician friends for having an extremely high voice so I'm able to reach some super high notes and that's what people kind of know me for in music circles I guess. Uh, and so I thought hey I haven't actually put those super high vocals in a song yet. Let's add one in. And uh, it's not the only one that I've put some super high vocals in. I have another single coming out next year that has another one that does very high indeed. This is where the trombone comes in. I love that trombone sound. It gives it a grit. Okay, that's my favourite part of the song, I think. So, the lyric, watch as I rise up from the battle of my progress, that is one of the lyrics that, I mean, I actually, I wrote this song right here, literally right here on this uh, keyboard. That was one of the lyrics that I really felt super strongly about when I wrote it. I was like, yes, that is what I'm trying to say. Watch me as I rise up from everything you've tried to throw into this battle. Nah, watch as I go. And it was that feeling of empowerment, that feeling of positivity that I really felt when I wrote that, that I still feel now when I hear that part of the song. And then we drop down into this uh, vocoder, oh, been a passenger. Actually, I can't remember what are the lyrics here. Been a passenger yeah. <laughs> And that whoop, 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 face, love that. And I hope that when people listen to this, they feel this sense of empowerment and this happiness, this positivity. No, I'm not just surviving, I'm trying. Here's a different bit. tribal element of the drugs. There's a lot of these drop downs and these swishy, swirly sounds throughout this song. Uh, so that section, that's our bridge section. Some people who've listened to it have said, oh, that's the chorus. You kind of had a long build up to the chorus and there it is. And other people are like, oh, there's the bridge. I, I didn't really think about it, so I guess it's just the new section of the song. That bit is the bit that I wanted to create that made people go, oh, I didn't know that song was going to give us that part. I love a good middle eight or bridge or different section in a song, something that catches the ear, something that takes you away from the song a little bit and makes you, or demands your attention, demands that you listen again properly rather than just letting a song sink into the background. So that's what that bit was about and I love a vocal slide so let's put one in I thought. You can hear the piano here. I'm starting to build. Hey. And this is the section where the drums are a lot busier, you can hear that hi-hat pattern really going for it. Uh, and also I start doing my ad-lib vocals. Ad-lib vocals are my favourite of all favourite things. All producers who work with me know that I adore ad-libbing and even with my previous single My Life, uh, Bjorn, the producer of that, we, <laughs> we were in the studio and I'd been he'd put the track on and I'd been ad-libbing for about 20 minutes and I said, so do you, do you still want me to to keep going? And he said, yeah, this is your favourite thing. We'll just keep going until you stop. So we just did it and did it and did it for ages. Uh, even I got tired, but it's my absolute favourite thing. I think it's the improvisational, like the in the moment quality of ad-libs because you don't know what's going to come out and as a vocalist it's super fun to see what your voice can do and to create something new in each moment and then you pick out the ones that really sparkle and you drop them into the track. Yeah. 
And then back into this section. So much busyness in the drums. And this sparkly synth in there as well. And then we drop down. And finish with that. Ooh, that's my other single. And then finish with that, uh, that vocoder sound as well. Um, yeah, I love the vocoder sound. I think it's awesome. And will also appear on some of my future releases. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of the backstory of Thriving. So the song's about empowerment and getting out of a situation that doesn't suit you anymore and not letting the other person dictate your life, make your decisions for you. Not just surviving your life, thriving in your life, which you deserve to be doing. Everyone deserves that. We don't, we don't deserve to just be clawing our way through life and we shouldn't let anyone tell us that that's what we deserve because it's not. And so that was my, I've done it song. That's what it was. And I'm so happy that it's out and that you can listen to it and hopefully enjoy it. And I hope that it gives you some feelings of positivity and empowerment. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Nina underscore Schofield. And even on Facebook, which is Nina Schofield Music, forward slash Nina Schofield Music. Uh, and I hope to see some of you guys on those social media sites. And I hope I will see you back here on my channel soon. Love you guys. Bye.